They say about golf that it's a bit like life, but don't believe them. As Gardner Dickinson once said, golf is much more complicated. That's quite true of Scotch malt whiskey. An interesting blend of what we're going to discuss on Business On Course today is with a man who's the CEO of Baumore, Morrison Baumore, and how they're taking their brands across the world. Here on the show with me on the links, how they network from Scotch to where they are, driving their business out of Scotland. Golf and humor go together all the time and that's why perhaps it's apt to think about P.G. Woodhouse who said success in golf is like success in acquisition of wealth. It's absolutely apt that they'll unsettle the character and deteriorate it almost. Mike, welcome to the show. Thanks so much for joining us. Yeah, and welcome to India in some ways. Yes, yeah, very early. <laughs> Very early, that's true. And yep. this is going to be the start of Balmo's official entry, isn't it? It is indeed into, into India and we're looking forward to hopefully to a, a long future as long as our history because we go back 250 years nearly. So this is very important to us. How important is the Indian market? I think it's, um, for us it's long term. We're very much at the luxury end uh, of, of Scotch whisky. Um, uh, we don't expect, expect any miraculous results in the in the short term, um, but India is a great whiskey loving culture. That's true. And you've got to have Bowmore uh, if you really do like your whiskies. That's true. Oh, and it's also going to be sort of a more expansive start for Indians on a mass scale in the single malts. Yeah. But what's very interesting is that very few of us really realize, but the market for whiskey world over actually finds India a huge, huge potential because India turns out to be the largest consumer of whiskies put together if you don't actually just yes. pick up a certain kind of whiskey and that's a thought that nobody would have had in mind that how could India be one where there is uh, so much consumption that's perhaps one of the reasons why you feel that the market has a potential to grow much faster yes I think the Indian consumers have a taste for whiskey it's, it's obviously an acquired taste and uh, uh, Scotch whiskey it does offer the ultimate in luxury it's very expensive to produce. Uh, we have millions and millions of pounds of stock laid down, but of course every drop of our product is at least 12 years old before yes. it hits the market. So uh, um, long term is how we view the world. How you view the world indeed. Well this probably is the earliest that he's ever talking about whiskey and just happens to be a luck that we're not uh, using the sunrise for a swing, but we'll catch you ahead for a game of golf, which is exactly why we're here so early. How did golf happen to you? Because you're Scottish, it's a, it's a natural corollary? Yes, it is. And you, you learn um, from a very young age. Your parents generally will play golf. There are golf courses all over the country. Right. It's not an expensive sport. It's available to everyone. And uh, so I took up the game when I was seven or eight years old and okay. love it. Okay, you love it. And it yeah. wasn't really a, a professional need for you to sort of get into the game of golf? Oh, no, no, no. It's all very much about sport and enjoying myself. And uh, as, I think as you get older and you're in business, it's even more fun. And you, you know, Why you, is that though? Well, I think you get to meet people in a really relaxed, fun sort of way. And even though golf, when you are out there, is about sport, you do always talk a little bit of business. And uh, you just get to know people and you have a lot of friends you develop uh, through golf. Indeed, that's true. Friends and business? And business. Very good for business. And uh, in fact, you can see the shirt I've got on is a Beaumont Atlantic Quay. Yeah. Tubar.com. 